Hey guys, Joe here at JP Details for the final installment of the world's most oxidised Etherweight restoration, and today we are restoring the headlights. You're going to have to bear with me with this video as I've captured angles from both headlights but haven't captured full footage on each one, so we're going to be swapping and changing between the near side and off side headlight so I can show you the full process. The very first stage is to clean the headlights which was done when the rest of the vehicle was cleaned and to also clay bar the headlights to remove as much contamination possible. These stages began cleaning the headlights up quite nicely but there was still a fine film of oxidation over each headlight. Taping the headlights off means we can concentrate on the headlights and won't need to worry about the surrounding paintwork. Paint is always thinner on the edges and the last thing I want to do after spending the best part of 20 hours machine polishing and restoring the paintwork is to burn through one of the edges in the final stages of the detail. I had the Evo 8 in for 5 days and this footage was filmed towards the end of day 4 so it only had sort of an hour left to spend on the headlights as day 5 was going to be taken up with the G-Technic ceramic coating phase. Wet sanding the headlights would have been beneficial but not absolutely necessary. This wasn't a huge requirement by the customer so I opted to machine polish the headlights in two stages to present them in a nice and clean condition. The first machine polishing stage I'll be using the Repez Mini Duetto and the Repez Green Medium Cutting Pad and Green Medium Compound to remove the oxidation from the surface of the headlights. This really was a case of trial and error to see what level of cut was required to remove the oxidation. I found the Rupes Green combination worked very well, so I opted to give both headlights a thorough initial machine polish. I spent the best part of 10 minutes machine cutting each headlight ensuring I was working all the way up to the taped areas. Speed setting 6 and reapply compound when necessary, nothing too complicated. The cutting stage restored the headlights to around 90% defect free which was a huge improvement so I was happy. The refining stage using the Repez Mini Duetto and Repez Yellow Pad and Yellow Finishing Polish is going to restore a nice and shiny appearance to the headlights and remove any light marring which was caused through the cutting stage. Speed setting 6 and thoroughly work the polish into all layers of the headlight and buff the product residue using microfiber towel when complete. When I mentioned wet sanding would have been beneficial which unfortunately I didn't have the time for but wasn't a requirement by the customer would have removed the final 10% of heavier oxidation which was mainly towards the top parts of the headlights. The headlights look good after a two stage machine polish so I removed the tape and wiped the headlights down with IPA to prep them for the ceramic coating phase. 
I plan on making a wet sanding, machine polishing and protecting headlights or a complete headlight restoration guide in a future video, just when I find the right car and customer. If you followed the whole process of the world's most oxidised Evoweight restoration, then in part 3 you should have seen the ceramic coating application. Obviously the G-Technic ceramic coatings were also applied to the headlights to keep them protected for up to 5 years. A few of you have asked in the comments section about before and afters for the Evo 8, so I'll throw a few in at the end of this video. In a year's time, I'll hopefully revisit the Evo 8 to see how it's doing, and record a video showing you the annual maintenance detail. As always, thank you for watching, hello to all the new subscribers, somebody give me a pat on the back, we've hit 10k. Head over to jpdetails.co.uk forward slash store and grab yourself a pack of two masculine scented air fresheners for £4.75 so you can really offer the channel some financial support in aiding me produce bigger and better content. Please drop the video a like and subscribe to the channel if you are not already. I'll hopefully catch you in the next one.